just go for miles. Yeah, you kind of wonder why. It's Elon Musk doing that uh, boring company. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not Elon Musk. <laughs> I know why he has the boring company. Uh, Mars, uh, all of the Mars cities are going to have to be underground. He's practicing. And then on top of that, um, all of Wasn't the- Wasn't that all the stuff he's doing is kind of- Practicing his uh, his rocket ships and stuff for other purposes. Well, he's fully convinced, as as I am too, fully convinced that in order for the human race to be able to continue, in order for the human race to be able to thrive, we have to get off this planet. We we can't just stay on this planet. Eventually, this planet will be destroyed, whether it's from an asteroid or the sun going supernova or becoming a red giant, or any number of things. But the that sun goes supernova, isn't that going to affect Mars as well? Well, it will, but that's just the first step. So, so if we're going down that route. The first step really is to prove feasibility. Once you prove feasibility, you get a lot of interest in building stuff off-site. The next step is to build a satellite. Um, uh, structure that is not on this planet that we can experiment with drives we can have like nuclear drives and stuff like that because right now if we were to have a nuclear drive uh for getting a rocket ship or something like that off the planet and it had a catastrophic flavor uh failure it would explode and cause radiation to be spread throughout the atmosphere and that would just be awful for us. However, even if you're doing semi-conventional fuel like liquid concentrated oxygen and all that kind of stuff for rocket ships, um, if you were to build a, you know, a space station that was literally a docking station for where you build and, you know, you originate all these ships taking off from, it has a reduced amount of gravity, 